29.6 secondary growth. Uh, in a plant, uh, we'll be focusing here on woody plants such as trees. Um, there's two types of lateral meristems that are going to um, increase the plant width or girth. It's going to cause the plant to thicken around its stem instead of growing up where growing up or taller would be primary growth. This is called secondary growth. And the first type of lateral meristem we have would be the vascular cambium. And then we also have the cork cambium. For this section, we're gonna focus on the vascular cambium. Now you find the vascular cambium in between the, the xylem and the phloem. So here we have the pith, then we have the cortex. Here is the dermal tissue, the epidermis. And then the vascular cambium is this orange line here in the middle. Now, if you look at a growing tree, you can see the bottom is going to be wider or thicker than the top. Primary growth is occurring here at the top, and secondary growth is occurring here at the bottom. Now, secondary growth occurs because the vascular cambium is going to add layers of secondary xylem and secondary phloem. Now over time, this addition of secondary xylem is going to increase the girth or the width of the tree. Now xylem, as we'll discuss in chapter 30, section 3, is made out of vessel members and tracheids. Now these are the tubes, or the cells that are like tubes, that transport the water through the plant. Now these are dead at maturity. And their cell walls are lignified, which means they're, um, they're like rigid and firm. And so because of this, uh, the xylem is what gives the plant or the tree the, um, the hardness and its strength. So over time, the plant grows stronger and wider because of the vascular cambium adding secondary xylem and secondary phloem. Now, just in case you're wondering, this yellow line here is the cork cambium, which we will discuss in the next section.